Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today I'm joined by fellow YouTuber Jason Hanrahan. What's your channel called? It's the Bonsai Garden. Excellent. I've got these two hawthorns, quite a thick one and a thinner one, and I thought, while Jason's down visiting, let's do some work on a couple of trees. I think I'll give him this one to work on because it's a bit easier. I'll deal with this thick one and let's see what we can come up with. Jason's completely unprepared for this challenge. <laughs> that's uh, that's how I like it. I like to have the competitive edge. And uh, <laughs> what I'm going to do now is we're going to have a look at these trees okay. and I'll let you tell my viewers what your plans are. Okay. Now, normally the first thing that I would do with the tree is have a look at the root base to establish where the nabari is, the spread of roots, and get an idea of which is the front of the tree. But Tony assures me that the roots are quite good on this tree. Oh, it's the, the best. They're the so, best. So, so what we're focusing on here really is styling the upper portion of the tree. Um, I think, looking at this, my thoughts would be mainly to get a little bit of wire on it and perhaps emphasise some of that bend coming back over the tree here, but then also to take the branches down as well. Now you're talking my kind of language, apart from the bit where you said minor bends. Minor. <laughs> <laughs> let's get some wire and let, oh, let's talk about my tree. It's got a nice curve, but there's not that much going on with this. I think I need to get a bit more serious with it. So we'll apply some wire and come back to them, eh? Okay. Okay, so I've, I've applied the wire to this now. And what I'm wanting to do is just bring that over slightly and not, not too much. But then what I also want to do is I want to drop these branches down as well. And this one might be a little bit more problematic because it's sticking out the back. I'll come back to that maybe. And what I'm kind of wanting to do is where the trunk is bending back this way, have most of the branches coming in that, that direction. Ouch. I'm not sure I'm covering myself in glory with this tree. <laughs> but looking from that side, that's sort of the effect I'm looking for. Branches sort of dropping down this way. And this perhaps needs a little bit more wire on there just to uh, bring it over. One of the problems that I do have is I seem to have the branches growing out primarily on this this side. It's not great, you get a bit of a stepped effect. So I'm just trying to bring that up back a little and then down. And that one down and back up. And perhaps I need to bring this one back a bit and then back towards. Well, I think that's looking quite good, actually. It's a sort of windswept type tree, but in the future, there's lots of possibilities can be done with that. Nice work, Jason. Now, this is thicker, so I've applied it, uh, a thick coil of six millimeter and a thinner coil. This has already got some movement, though, so I'm wondering if I can just increase this movement lower down, like that. There we go. That's added a bit on, not a lot. I probably need a bit more wire to hold that in position. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll just knock up a quick guy wire. This is one of those times when it's really handy to have a second pair of hands, so what I'm going to ask Jason to do is hold that and twist that in place when I bent this down. 
So I'm going to apply this some bend. Do you want me to? Let me come down. Let me come down. Yep. Yep. Twist that in place now. You got it? There you go. Yeah. That's the band I wanted. Nice. Thank you. I really like this sweep. I think that looks great. But now I need to take it back up. So at this point, I'm just going to come back round and I'm twisting as well here. So I'm bending and twisting at the same time. There. I think that didn't crack, but it was close to cracking, which is where I love to be. Let me just get that top across like that. Lovely. It was only a quick video today while Jason's over. I just wanted to film something quickly. Both quite different trees worked on in a similar way and neither one is by any means set in stone. It's just adding a bit of interest, getting them on the way. I'll put a link to Jason's channel in the description below. Check out his content. And as always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.